So yeah, sorry about that last part. <laughs> yeah, it kind of ran on a bit there. Kind of fucked it. But yeah, uh, this is actually my second play session. I actually took a wee break then to get some dinner because I feel just started recording this just when I was getting hungry, so I thought I'm going to be go for again. But we were talking about Spiral Two and one very specific level about a part in the last video. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, you I guess we'll continue that. Basically, what it was is you had to climb up in, like, in a cone on the outside of it. And it had a uh, ship flying down at you from every la every ladder there. And that's... Oh, I, I totally remember this now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is, like, a slightly harder version of that puzzle in there. But it still wasn't different. Because mm -hmm. no. it was Spyro and you could jump off and jump back on. Uh, that may be a good show for TOD, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, Spyro 2 is, like, my favourite game. Yeah, one of my top. It's one of my top five games of all time. It's an amazing game. So I'm I'd be okay with. I'd be, I'd be okay with doing Spiral One, but there's just one level in it that just kills me. I'd have to. There'll be major editing in it. You know, <laughs> this is a bit of a confession. I've never properly played Spiral One. I've played the first world a few times, and I've gotten to the second world, but I just it's, don't like the game as much as two or three. Special not. It's not as good as two or three, but it is a good game. Yeah, it's, oh, it's not a bad game. I mean, it's hard to mess up. It's Spyro. It's a good formula. It works. Um, so yeah, I was just checking that I was going to go the right way if I went down that path there. Mhm. Mm uh, uh, oh, there's a thing up there. Uh, and uh, I, I seem to notice that the lums have changed that, like, changed model again. Yep, they have. Not sure they why. They changed it. They changed it in the last one as well. Yeah, I don't know. But I never really noticed until just now. I don't know why, because the settings on my uh, my rendering and my editing software have remained exactly the same. I've not even changed them. The defaults, actually, I've not even changed them. You're not going through that other part there? Uh, no, because that I've worked out that that's the right way, and that this is the side path. Oh. Yep, and it's just a wee cage full of alum. And it looks out. Oh. To, you could, this actually, we could see this area from earlier in the last video. Um, when we got a lump. So, that's a fun fun fact there. Okay, Alright. For those, for those of you who have fallen along with the Rayman continuity. Uh, that's something. Bye. There's a lot of climbing in this level. Uh, yeah, there is. A lot is. of climbing in this game, actually. Which I think is fair enough. But, it seems a strange mechanic to kind of rely on. One thing I notice is the music keeps kind of coming and going every now and again. Yeah. You've also in a like fucking silver the hedgehog kind of place there where you just can't do anything. <laughs> it's no use. <laughs> oh dear, that's yeah. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything. No. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, the music You're does really kind of. Sure. The music does kind of come and go. And I think I kind of like that because there are areas where you're kind of alone and it's good to enjoy just like the atmosphere. Yeah. Like right now, before if you fight the guy, it comes in. And the fight music's really good in this game. Like it, it always annoys me in certain games. Like I can't think of a, an example. One example, like I'm think I could be wrong in th in saying it. No, actually, Mario Kart 64 does it. it oh. When you're playing yourself on a Grand Prix or whatever, the music's there. You're playing two player Grand Prix versus whatever, music's there. Any more than two players and the music's gone. Yeah, I think that's obviously that's what we do. It's, it's hardware and you know. that shit. I understand why. It's just still annoying. What you know? What really annoys me while we're on the subject of things in racing games that annoy me? Fucking Crash Team Racing, right? One of my favourite racing games. Probably my mm -hmm, second, it's a very good game. second favorite. We, we play it all the time. We do play it all the time. It's one of the one of the the games we always play whenever we're around playing games. And like, but there's a level in that. Uh, Rose Tubes, it's one of the first levels of the game, and in single player it's got a big dinosaur fossil, and in multiplayer they remove that. Like, it must be because of limitations, but I know the PlayStation can't be that, I had a murder. I know the PlayStation can't be that limited. I don't think, I don't think it is, I don't know why that's the, I've never noticed it, but I can't think of a reason, because it's not as if the PlayStation 1 wasn't, you know, powerful for that yeah, kind of shit. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if it was on the N64, I'd be surprised there was even a fucking dinosaur skeleton in single player. Aye, oh, absolutely, yeah, totally. Um, so, funny story about this part here, I was convinced this grass was mucky swamp water, and so that's why I was trying to like kind of avoid it earlier on. Oh, hey. I didn't even think to look at the mushrooms or the grass tufts growing up, or the fact that I actually touched it and forgot about it. So yeah, a bit of a disaster there, but I'll eventually work it out. 
And this is like your first kind of, I guess you could say, boss of the game. And it's pretty cool. Okay. It introduces you to the barrel mechanics pretty well. Because one thing you can do as well is throwing them forward. You can also throw them up and catch them again. Which is pretty badass. Oh. You just kind of, uh, when you think of what he's doing, he's throwing a high explosive up in the air and catching it. And he's catching it. It's pretty badass, like. Huh. Um. So, th the way this video is going, uh -huh. like animation wise, I don't know what the fuck is hitting this, the water. And I don't know what came out of that machine. Okay. Those are because like. Because I, I don't understand. Those are like giant bombs. And it's a bolt of lightning hitting the water. I don't know. No, what... I know it's a bolt of lightning, but what's, you know, at the end of that? That's it's going... it's a blue. <laughs> it's a navy blue. It's just a blue. Have it's... you never seen a navy blue before? I'm led to believe they're fairly common. Why? Um... Oh, you're punching it. Okay. I was wondering why you were throwing the barrel up all the time. Yeah, to get to get rid of the. Yeah. The bomb, the flying bombs. I hadn't noticed you were punching. I thought like. It was coming for that, and if you threw it up, it wouldn't know it was there and just disappear. I, I was just like, what is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now we get to the strange multi ethnic Lee. Oh, my. Or lie, whatever. I mean. Lie, I think. Yeah. Although we'll never know because there's no fucking voice acting in this. <laughs> That's true. There's no voice acting, but the voice acting is bad, man. I mean, yeah, it's pretty... we all heard Goldbox's voice acting. And if you didn't, here it is now. <laughs> oh, Globox classic. <laughs> Although, mind you, this whole my hi, my hi isn't much better. No. Neither's her clothes, but she wearing. Like, I, I was thinking that because, like. <laughs> is she wearing anything? I fucking hope so. Oh, she's got one hell of a buff mark going on now. <laughs> also, she seems to have. I don't know if it's a tail or. It looks a bit low down to be a tail. Does she just get really long hair? I don't know. I, I can't see her right now. Oh, well, I think it's a tail. Yeah. Strange. But it is a bit low. Maybe it's just coming out of her arse. Oh, well. But this is the way. Strange. Ah, but now we get a first new ability of the game so we can grab on to, to rings. Uh, was that in the first one? I can't remember. It was in the first one. Okay. You got it late in the game, though. Yeah. So, uh, so, so, why is giving us that ability now? And that's kind of let us go forward. So, yeah, you do keep getting abilities in this game. Um, it's quite a few. I can't remember how many they are. I can't even remember what most of them are, to be honest with you. But that's fucking fast. <laughs> like, boy, yeah, it's pretty fast. Shit. It's pretty terrifying. And we're, come, we're actually we're nearly at the end of this level. More close than the video time would suggest, but you'll see why the video is actually this long because the end of this level is. A complicated matter, so to speak. I don't even know when the demo ended. The it ended a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did one. You did one tiny bit of the game. You, you got the yeah, like a box. And I don't know. I'm. Can, I think there might be slight differences between the actual content between versions as well of levels. It could be. Sure. I mean, so here you that. can actually see the black lums. No. Oh, I I totally can. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. They're black now, and there's a couple of them there. I, mean, I don't know if there's any further down. There was Holy one there. Shit. Fucking well done in seeing these, by the way, because I totally can't see them. Yeah, I kind of got used to it. You can see that one there. Ah, uh, that one's clear. Because it's in a light patch, but there was a couple in the air that were really hard to see. It's It makes the game trickier, but I don't know. I kind of like the challenge, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a fan, I'm a well, fan of... At least you do, I guess. I'm a fan of Elevated Challenge. I mean, this game needs it because it's not a difficult game, per se. There are, it does get hard, eventually, but... Like, right now, it's... It's not hard. <laughs> These pirates are the worst shots in the world. They're like, Stormtrooper <laughs> school of shooting things. Oh, for fuck, now you're throwing black clums at everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just throwing my shit at Jesus. Yeah, I think it's got. I think it might be dependent on like the color scheme around it because obviously right now we're in a bigger oil. Ah, uh, that would make sense because I can't. I, I don't think it's like, you know, just as emulating a bit funny. You know, makes yeah. it change to black or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. So here we have. Oh god. This part um, takes forever, and it's not hard. It's not difficult. It's just monotonous. And I don't know why they put it in the game because it really interrupts the flow of the level. 
like the level, this level to a lot of like snappy changes in environment when you consider we started off in a beautiful little pond, then we were outside the pirate ship, then we were inside through going through all these halls and then we were in an oil thing and now we're going up tornadoes. Yeah, this is a bit of a This is a bit of a loaded level this. Yeah, it is, but I was kind of enjoying it until now because it had like a kind of progression. And I understand this is kind of like meant to be like the cooldown from everything. Like the... Yeah. Also getting the lums is a bastard. You would need to uh, do this like three times to get all the lums because there's like branching paths. I don't do that. I'll probably, I might do it off camera but I'm not, I'm not looking forward to doing it again. Yeah, no, you wouldn't be. Fuck that. Yeah, I get it. Like, the level's kind of meant to be like it starts off nice and easy and then it like it gets darker and then you have the big dramatic escape when you go down through the oil field and then you get to this and it's like the cool down from it. And I get that and I kind of like it, but I just feel that this is a really weak part of any game because you're not doing anything. You're just waiting. It's not really teaching you anything. I it's mean, not. Okay, you can use a helicopter, use a car, and you can use one and tell us that. I mean. Exactly, you know, I mean, it's. I, kinda, I like the idea of going from one to the other, but not going that slowly. I think that's my problem with it, is how slow it is and how. And you're not. You're really. Like I say, you're not doing much. You're not really altering this. The only thing you're altering is moving over the gap. And it, okay, it does get your heart going a wee bit when you're like, shit, I'm not going to. Like right now, you're thinking, I might not make that, I might not make that, but. You do, you know, it's not hard. Mm. But I mean, you had those kind of things with the, you know, the you punch to the pink ring and, you, you know, you, you swing kind of thing. <laughs> yes. I know that was a horrible <laughs> sentence, but oh, well, let's just pink forget ring. about it for a second. <laughs> they had a, like, they had them in, a, in the first game mm. and, you know, you would sometimes miss and you'd shite it. Yeah. But they also had the red ones, which when you punch them, they would fall down. So you had, to, yeah. you had even more of a, sh like, Oh my god, I might not make this. Mm, I don't remember them actually. But there was no training for that. Like it does, it it never tells you about that. Uh huh. I'm kind of a fan of um, I think who is it? They mentioned it. It's Eagle Raptor that says all the time, uh, "Show, don't tell." You know, and I guess mm. it's kind of doing that. It's teaching the mechanic, but I think the idea is more you have it in a situation where it's not vital, but you yeah. try it out and you learn it, and then if you fail it, you understand what the problem is. I think actually he really nailed that on his uh, sequelitis on his Mega Man X yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, he absolutely did. And here we get fucking upside down <laughs> soda bastard. Or like a very happy slug. Uh, we're almost to the end of this video. Very, it, end know. of the video and indeed the end of the first level. So, um, yeah, this has kind of been like the tutorial segment of the game. You're, we're just about to start to get into the proper parts. This dance is awesome. So, yeah, uh, See ya! Stay tuned!